I'm Allendale's Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin with a look at your midday weather update. No significant changes in the thought process as we go forward here. Surface analysis shows that we've got a nice frontal boundary working its way through the deep south. Look at this as almost a corridor for moisture to develop over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours, working its way from the lower delta across the rest of the deep south. So far, though, we are seeing some dryness out there mississippi alabama clouds are in alabama not so much mississippi uh, as we see more sunshine down on the lower delta you can expect thunderstorms probably to become more of an issue speaking of thunderstorms still looking at a cluster of them holding on in southwestern parts of iowa it's been kind of an interesting deal there otherwise you go back down through missouri the western half of missouri you're seeing scattered showers pop up Cold front that's going to be bringing a large, substantial batch of moisture to the central plains. Currently sits about halfway across Colorado. It's moved just into western parts of South Dakota and then kind of curves back down through New Mexico and Arizona. One of the things that I'm looking at that system right now and I'm a little concerned about is the moisture flow. We have been looking for moisture to get pulled off of the western Gulf of Mexico across Texas and up into Oklahoma. Models are still going with that. But right now we still have a front situated in that exact same area. There are the Texas Gulf Coast and the western Louisiana. At this point, with that front sitting there and strong low pressure there, it may not be quite as wide open of a path for moisture to come all the way across Texas. We'll see. Maybe what we'll see here is moisture circulate around the lows in Louisiana and southern parts of Arkansas and then topside moisture kind of get flung off into this frontal boundary that's approaching but right now you know we thought we might see some moisture start to fire off this afternoon across the central plains I guess if we do it might be hit and miss thunderstorms and that is it the more gentle and longer term rains appear to be another 24 hours off the way the current surface analysis sets up as we go forward, I'm not really too excited about moisture potential over the Corn Belt as we finish out the week. Yes, some scattered showers around as we go through tomorrow. Most of them look like they're going to be uh, the most intense south of I-70. And, and just so we aren't confusing anybody here, when I say most intense, I'm still only talking about a tenth to maybe three-tenths of an inch of moisture. I just think once you get north of I-70, you're talking a few hundredths of an inch or nothing. So I'm really not overly stoked about the moisture here short term, but... I still see a very nice swath of moisture coming across Sunday and Monday. I'm leaving my rainfall totals at a half to two inches easily uh, over the Corn Belt, and this includes the upper Midwest as well. So good moisture there. Keep an eye on the cold front that's coming through the plains. Yes, at the, at the first glance, it's triggering a nice round of precipitation for wheat areas and eventually dragging that east. But you know what? As that front clears the Corn Belt on Monday, Behind it, we're going to be seeing the full force of cold air come in. Temperatures going well below normal in northern plains. If you want to see what's in store, just pay attention to temperatures in the northern plains here today, tomorrow, and see what they're looking like Sunday, Monday. Quite a difference there. We're looking at the same kind of dramatic drop in temperatures over the eastern third of the country. And it looks to me like it's going to be Tuesday through Thursday of next week still. I don't think we're looking at damage kind of temperatures, but we are definitely looking at a slow the warming set of temperatures and I think it's going to kick off a below normal finish to the month enough so to probably take the entire month of April and put temperatures at or below normal with regard to precipitation after the cold air leaves still looking at a nice little system coming out of the central plains and across the corn belt however models have kind of squeezed that precipitation down a little bit looking at Kansas getting moisture then as it comes out across Missouri I-70 corridor as it moves farther east kind of shifts to the I-64 corridor Take it 100 miles either side of those interstates. That's where the best rain is going to be. And I honestly think that you go too far outside of that, you may not see much moisture, especially you know, upper Midwest, northern parts of the Corn Belt. Maybe not seeing much rain there to finish out next week. That could provide another window of opportunity. Looking at scattered light moisture around toward the end of the month into early next. Some moisture in the forecast, but not big gully washing events that we have to be worried about super flooding or you know extended long-term delays. The only system that has the big amounts of moisture with it is the one that hits Sunday and Monday this weekend. That's the way things are stacking up here right now. If you've got any questions on the weather, give us a call at Allendale. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin.